An oil slick is expanding as a circle. The radius of the circle is increasing at a rate of 20 meters per day. Express the area of the circle as a function of D, which is the number of days that are elapsed. All right, so let's take a little picture. So let's pretend that this uh, represents the oil slick after one day, all right? So why after one day? Well, it says it's increasing at the rate of 20 meters per day. Right, so as soon as, let's say, the oil slick hits the ground, that's when the circle starts begin, beginning to grow, right? And after one day, it should be a total length here, the radius, that is, of 20 meters, all right? So let's label that. Let's just label that as 20 meters. Now, after the next day, what's going to happen to the circle? Well, it's going to expand, right, in all directions. And what happens to its radius? Well, the radius also increases, definitely. And what is the new value of that radius? What do you think? Well, if it expands 20 meters every single day, and now I'm saying that this is the next day, well, then it would have been 20, right, plus then another 20, so which would have given me 40 meters. And you can kind of see where this is going to play out, right, over time. Now, let's leave that alone, and let's go back now to the, uh, so we, ha we have a conceptual understanding of what's going on in the problem. Let's now take a look at what we actually have to do. It says to express the area. So first of all, you want to think of an area formula. Okay, so area is going to be equal to pi r squared. That's the area of a circle. Okay. Now the question is, uh, how do we calculate the area? Well, we need to know the radius. Okay, and what's happening to the radius? Well, the radius is changing, right? The radius is going to be 20 meters the first day, and then 40 meters the second day, and then the third day, right? It's going to be 60, and then the fourth day it's going to be 80, etc., now, the thing is, I know what's going to happen, but what I need to do is somehow now I need to manipulate this formula a little bit so that I can get my function or that the function here uh, can have the variable of day in it, right, or d. So the question is, what happens to the radius every single day? Well, the radius is going to keep increasing by 20 units. So in other words, that the radius will be equal to 20 multiplied by the number of days, right? Does that make sense? So after one day, if D were one, what would the radius be? Well, it would be 20. If D were two, then this whole thing works out to be 40, right? And the radius would have been 40, and that would have been the radius after two days, and that's exactly what we came up with, right? Now, that's kind of the thing, right? You, you, it's sometimes, it's challenging to come up with, let's say, a relationship like this sometimes, right? It doesn't seem clear. Like, how do you just think that up? Well, that's where practice comes into play, right? That's where we got to practice. We got to see problems done, all right? By the way, check out our channel because we literally have thousands of practice problems out there. Not only math, but physics and chemistry as well. We got a lot more coming, all right? But what I'm going to do now is once I have this nice little um, relationship set, I'm going to take that value 20D and plug it in for R because they are equivalent, all right? So now it's going to be A is equal to pi multiplied by 20 d squared. And now you can kind of do the math a little bit if you want. 20 d squared would then be 20 d times 20 d, which would be <laughs> 20 d times 20. Reminds me of this place I used to get my hair cut at, actually. Uh, anyway, uh, don't, don't ask me why. Uh, eh, what am I? Okay, I get distracted sometimes, so I apologize. Uh, so this is going to be 400 d squared, right? And then you can kind of move the 400 on out. So that's going to be 400 pi, 400 pi times d squared. And that would now be the formula for the area as a function of the number of days, right? So if two days pass by, right, you would be able to find the area. If four days pass by, you could find it, et cetera, et cetera. And that's all there is to it. All right, so I really do hope this helped, guys. Um, and you can plug it in and see if it, you know, see if it makes even more sense. But that's all there is to it. Thanks again for tuning in. Appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Take care.